folks. We're about to see Saturn and Jupiter. Um, I'm an astronomer. I don't even remember the last time I saw Saturn. I mean, like, it was probably a year ago. And I'm a expert. And I don't even get to see these things. So tonight is a privilege. It's been a while. It's been months and months since I've seen these planets professionally. But tonight, you're going to see Saturn and Jupiter. Saturn's rings and Jupiter's moons. It is going to be nothing short of awesome. So let me set up here. I message about 20 people to come out here. And everybody just be liking my message. I'm like, come through, come through. Like, like. Okay, anyway. <laughs> All right, well, okay, so <clears throat> this will be cool. Oh my God, I love this place. I am so in tune over here. It's like a meditational center in this area. Like, oh my God, it's so awesome here. Such a way to just meditate and uh, become one with the universe. It's a very peaceful area. I don't know why. Um, probably because I went to middle school across the street. Who knows? <laughs> it's my hood. All right, so. is that we're using divide 1900 millimeters of focal length on the telescope by 12, 11 millimeters on the eyepiece that's the, the X power the magnification power whatever that is it's probably like 150 or something I think um, so let me bolt this on here This might take a minute because this equipment is so cheap, actually, like these manufacturers, like they make it almost like a prank, like it just starts um, crumbling apart, like there's a washer missing from one of these bolts and it doesn't stick up so I can connect it. Every little thing falls apart with these telescopes. It costs like $700, but the manufacturers make them in such a way that they just start falling apart. Pieces start falling off. It's just a joke. It's ridiculous. It's frustrating. It's aggravating. But yeah, that's the life of an astronomer. Um, there's always something weird. I mean, you know, thank God these people don't build airplanes or every, all of them be crashing. Uh, just gotta land these holes in the screws. No pun intended. <laughs> All right, so. Got one so far.
got it. Got it. This way I can tilt the telescope. Alright. I swear, it's so frustrating, these telescopes. Uh, man. One part breaks and then I can't even put the telescope on. It's alright. I'll be rich one day soon. What the hell? That ain't no blooper. That really happened. Clutch. All right, we good. Oh. Okay, almost done. Timbers. All right. You're going to love me after this, I promise. Two outer planets at once. You ain't going to find that anywhere else except that El Paso telescope, Captain. All right, I say we got about one or two more minutes before we get these planets in. Let's get my eyepiece here. <coughs> Don't worry about the cough, it's just allergies. I do not have the corona. I don't ever get sick. I get sick like once every 10 years because I am constantly outdoors and I am constantly exercising. I ride my bike probably like at least eight miles a day, if not 10. I could ride 30 miles and not even feel it. 50, eh, 70, yeah, that might hit me. 100, probably forget it. All right, so almost there. All right, buddies, let's go for Jupiter first. Um, I'm gonna pin Jupiter here real quick, pin it down. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Holy cannoli. All right, we got Jupiter on tap. Right on my bullseye. All right, so. Okay, we good, we good, we good. All right, folks, I'm gonna take you to Jupiter right now. Here we go. Whoa. So that's Jupiter on the right and Saturn on the left. Okay. They're in the southeast. Oh, by the way, I rode my bike over here and carried all of this on my bike. That's why I charge because people don't realize how hard it is to get all this stuff out here. So, all right, mateys, a har har, howdy matey, a hi ha har har. Let me show you the Jupiter. Abandoned ship. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. 
All right, it's here. Don't worry, don't worry. So that's Jupiter with its moons. But, um, yeah, it's got four moons, okay? They look like stars. Sorry, just centering it here for a minute. Okay, we're good. That's Jupiter, folks. With its moons. Sorry, I'm holding this by hand. A little shaky, sorry. There's a moon way out there. It's probably, I don't know which one. I know the one closest to it is usually Io. Um, forgive me here. The Earth is rotating. And this is why it's moving. All right, so that was Jupiter. Okay, now I'm going to hit Saturn. If you've watched this 12 minutes, thank you for sticking in, sticking around. All right, we're going to Saturn, people. 800 million miles from Earth. I haven't seen this in a year. At least. I don't even remember. It's been so long. It's because they go behind the sun for like three months. And then, you know, coronavirus came and all that shit. So, all right. Man, thought somebody was looking at me through the library door. It's a basket for a plant pretty spooky out here sometime all right so uh, oh I see Saturn Wow all right there it is Saturn okay here we go here goes nothing Oh boy. Just adjusting my telescope. Shoot, hold on. Ah. Okay, here we go, folks. Drum roll, please. Where are you? Can be a little tricky, sorry, it's a small planet. It's 800 million miles away. Okay, kinda got it.
This is a wee bit tricky. Sorry if you're just getting flashes of it. Because it's really hard to uh, get that light wave to go right through my phone's camera eye. Um, Saturn. Hi, long time no see. All right, folks, thanks so much. Peace out.